This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by recent Indie Mayhem show guest Tom Liturgy is doing a class at the Community College of Allegheny County, The History of Professional Wrestling in Pittsburgh. Find out more information on our link on WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 592. Tuesdays, we've been celebrating professional wrestling in a podcast form and live streaming on the Facebook as well. We're going to have a lot of fun here. Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in uh, Beachview, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, PA at the Sorgatron Media Studios. We got a great crew. We got a great lineup of things to talk about. We got on the line from Poughkeepsie, New York. He is the only member of the Mayhem Nation that I'm aware of, that has a future Endeavor letter from the WWE. Ah, uh, Sorg. Big. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm just rocking out to some genuine in my brain now. Yes, you are. You got the yeah. chat room all hot and bothered here before the show. Mm-hmm. It's Mayhem Show 469. It's not. No, no, it's not. We did that already. <laughs> <laughs> we did that one. We did that one. It's like it's like five forty something. I don't know how many numbers. No, this is five hundred ninety-two. Oh, I just geez, I'm way off. What are you gonna way off? Wow. Uh, and with us, we got a hell of a crew on the couch this week. Uh, first of all, we got from the mainstream media, from the airwaves into your home. He is mainstream Matt, bringing the professional wrestling goodness to the mainstream media as always. That's right. And also, hey, you brought. Well, you did this week did. as well with the Ring of Honor article. I did. Yes. I did it. You did it. I did it. Good job. I, I'm, I was happy to do it. It was, it, was a, it was a great show. It was fun to cover. And um, thanks to the Ring of Honor folks for accommodating me in my professional mode. And now I'm here to there you go. just be another dork on the couch. A so great, here we are. Great interview with uh, Nick Lendl, uh, announcer extraordinaire with the IWC, mm-hmm. now with Ring of Honor and doing the IP view over the weekend, I believe. Yeah. So... Uh, go check that out or over at kdka.com. You should. You should. I encourage you. Yes. Thanks for getting that plug in. I realize you set me up for that. Now that's, and I that's what just I know. You're usually on the other side of the camera. Yes. You're not used to this. Go, you're not used to, be go to kdka.com and read the article. We need the page views so we can do more wrestling. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Some cool stuff going on there. And then also here in studio, who is that masked man? It's Super Hentai. After his long, 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 long sabbatical from the show. I think there's still a picture of you on the Patreon page in the old, old, old setup in the basement. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, my God. I think so. You got to send was, that to me. It's a, it, 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 it's a, I think it's you, Facade, and Vicky Gambino. Oh, if yeah, I recall. yeah. I wow. That. That, how did I get all of you on the show that night? Well, let's see if I can pull that up here. Great question. We're also, we know. also says, we really need to update our Patreon page. <laughs> So, uh, thanks for joining us again. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. It was a long time coming. Wait, wait, wait. Here it is. Here it is for you on the video. Look at check out that old picture. Look at that. <laughs> look at that duct work and that old couch where so much stuff has happened on that couch. Um, in a, yes, in a scary way. Um, wow, we saved for over 500 <laughs> episodes. So I at least did this page two years ago. <laughs> so there's that Uh, but anyways this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show you can join us here at WrestlingMayhemShow.com we're here live every Tuesday at 10pm Eastern Time Uh, we're on Live.WrestlingMayhemShow.com is the link to find out what technology we're using lately but we're usually on the Facebook Live page and we got a tremendous crew out there uh, hanging with us tonight thank you so much uh, uh, guys like Brandon Alex uh, two Alex's actually. Uh, I know one of you is a West Coaster. A Chachi is even in there. Holy crap! Tina, Jen, uh, the Rev is hanging out in there, causing some trouble. He wants a Funko Pop. Billy, Billy Johnson from uh, 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 West West Virginia 
Uh, holy crap. There's a hell of a crew in there that tonight. Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun here for the next and they know, And they know where that heart button is, Sorg. They know. They definitely know where that heart button is. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. for. Uh, and please, if you're enjoying the show, share the show. Uh, tag at Mayhem Show on Twitter. Uh, share it on your Facebook page. Share it in your... If there's a wrestling group you belong to, you think would enjoy the Mayhem Show, and you're watching us live or you're catching the video on Facebook afterwards, just go ahead and hit that share button and say, hey, guys, this is some fun times, and uh, check it out or whatever you really think of this show. Uh, just don't tell me. It'll hurt my feelings. Uh, but anyways, um, you can also uh, uh, subscribe to the show on iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, and video versions on the Facebook and the YouTube page for Wrestling Mayhem Show. And uh, thanks to our supporting partners. Oh, first, I never mentioned this enough. Intro by our friend Basic Sickness at BasicSickness.com. I know he had a new album come out recently. Um, you can drop us a line at Good Times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Good Times! At WrestlingMayhemShow.com. 412-206-WMS0 and uh, streaming partners, the405media.com, who carry us for some reason. Thank you. Uh, and we're there um, <laughs> streaming every seven days a week, 9 p.m. Pacific time, because they're West Coast. Uh, and uh, uh, that's that would be midnight Eastern time. If you just need to fall asleep to the sweet sounds of mayhem, that's how you can do it at the405media.com. Thank you. And hold on, hold on. Hold on, Sorg. We should give something to those people who are falling asleep to the sweet sounds of mayhem. I, I, I just, I, I feel like we should, I feel like we should break out into songs. We should, we should. You, yeah. Do you have a lullaby for them, Mike? Um, Sorg. I, I mean, you, you didn't record it before, so jump on it. Bow. Let's do it. Bow. Ride it, Bow. my pony. Bow. Right, that's all I get. That's all I get. There you go. There you go. That's, that's all I get. Join the Facebook Live to figure out the rest of that song. <laughs> yeah. Um, Lord, and Lord, yeah. everyone else knows the rest of that song. I, I mean, I know it. I just, you know, I just try to block it out because high school. Um, <laughs> 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 hey, a shout out to one of our Patreon. What's that? Not, you know, no, 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 no. Not all things, but things around that song were. Uh, but, anyways. <laughs> Um, <laughs> thank you to our Patreon supporters uh, as well. Fan of the show, one dollar level, helping us out, literally keeping the lights on in the studio. Uh, Bo Diggity, woo, 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 as well as Ed Burke. I think I still have your ice cream s- scoop over here. Bobby F J Town, and at the Pocky Club five dollar level, these guys are also getting uh, Mayhem Show Gold, some extra content we record. That we give to those guys every week to check out. Uh, that's uh, our friend uh, just moved up. Occupy Pro Wrestling. Power to the Smarks on the Patreon, or I'm, I'm sorry, on the Twitter. Tina Keys and uh, Christopher Bishop on that level. And Big Ballin at the Pizza Club $10 level. He gets a special state of the show every month on top of the uh, uh, gold level is Billy Effin Johnson. And guys, you can support the show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. All those levels that I mentioned. Plus, we have a $20 manager level. You can be the Paul Bearer, Miss Elizabeth of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. <laughs> Maybe we'll. What, wait, what? wait. Wait. <laughs> you okay so over you there? Think, are you thinking the Paul Bearer die? or Miss Elizabeth of the Wrestling Mayhem Show? You know, whichever way you swing. <laughs> Got it. Uh, <laughs> you get a special. I, what, I think I'm understanding why Genuine was awkward for you in high school. <laughs> Great school sort. Okay, okay. Uh, anyways, uh, you'll see a special listing on the show notes as well as a special exclusive digital download from our partner, IndieWrestling.us. Hey, you can get some Super Anti matches for that. Yeah. Holla. Yeah. What? What? I know. I'm circling back to the giant green ad because I feel like it flows better. Now it doesn't. <laughs> Thanks to our friend, uh, Alex Cars, as well. Uh, he also... Uh, he's our compatriot. He uh, contributes to the show a lot, uh, and and obviously in the Patreon as well. And has a great show at, at uh, OccupyProWrestling dot com. No, all around uh, awesome web guy. He helped with the uh, launch of IndieWrestling dot us actually. Uh, but he is helping to save the Tatas this month. You may have noticed the breast cancer awareness promos. Uh, Dana wore everyone uh, wearing pink. You know those pink ropes. It's pink rope month. Uh, month. Uh, and uh, for the month of October, Alex is donating. All benefits from merch sales at Occupy Pro Wrestling Store to Breast Cancer Research Foundation. So please go check it out um, and uh, and support this and support the Tatas 
uh, by go picking up some merch over at OccupyProWrestling.com's store. So let's get into, we have so much to talk about. First of all, uh, and Mike, I know we kind of got into this a little bit last night, but I am really excited for WWE Halloween Havoc this weekend. Aren't you? Sure. <laughs> Because that's basically what I think we're getting right now. Because <laughs> we, got... I mean, uh, it's only Halloween Havoc if, for some reason, the network cuts off before the main event. Oh, that was the later ones when they were just like happened like was one time. Yeah, you know that's 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 <laughs> uh, you, you know. Hey, all it needs is to happen one time. That's true too. That Do true. we ever mention Kane without mentioning Katie Vick? That only needs to happen yeah, one time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we ever mention TNA without ever mentioning Claire Lynch? That only needs to happen one time. Mm. It, I mean, did anyone see Little Giants? All you need is one time. What? That's it. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> is it a promo for J Rock? <laughs> Give it up one time, Daddy. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> um, but no, we. Yeah, we. It, it's feeling. I got the vibe this week. We got uh, Pumpkin Finn, apparently. The Great Pumpkin. Uh, the Great Pumpkin Finn. Yeah. Fergal S. Pumpkins. Fergal S. Pumpkins. <laughs> there, there's, there's a whole lot of different um, jokes. Versus, um, apparently, Bray Wyatt and, and, and Creepy Drag as Sister Abigail. You know, I try to be patient and open-minded with my wrestling viewing. <laughs> Being in a feud with Bray Wyatt is like being chained to a safe in the middle of the ocean. You're just you're going down, <laughs> no matter what you try to do. No matter, I, I, like, what the hell are we supposed to do with this guy anymore? Every time he turns on my TV, I just want to fall asleep. I'm done. There, there, I hate to just like let this let this loose all at once, but mm. I was kind of thinking of it. You've had thinking this, about you've it had on this the way up for a while. Like, what, well, what can I talk to Sorg about? I know what I'll talk to about. I can't freaking take Bray Wyatt anymore. <laughs> There's and I know I'm like, maybe I'm the last one to the party on this, but like, it's over. It's over. Was, it's over, Sorg. I, like, he's yeah. useless. Yeah. He's useless. Not the person. The no, character. No, no, no. The television yes. property. It's over. <laughs> it's over. And there was, there was right. so much there to work Matt. with. So much promise. <laughs> Matt, Gone. Matt, Matt, Done. I have a question. I have a question, Matt. Go ahead. Matt, Matt, Matt Mike, PKFC New York. I have, I have a question <laughs> for Matt Carlin. <laughs> I have a question. First time, long time. <laughs> First time, long time. Um, I'll hang up and listen. Okay. What if, what if Sister Abigail is Bo Dallas and drag? Sucks. <laughs> nice try. Where's he been? Where's he been? Getting ready, right? Where's he been? Where's he been? No one knows why Bo's gone. I'm just saying. Let, let me. I, I really want to ask someone who actually knows something about professional wrestling. So, and I don't usually have that luxury. So, Super Hentai. Yeah, yeah. What do you think about <laughs> What do you think about Bray Wyatt? Uh, I feel like the ship has passed. Yeah. On his, on his gimmick, and it's a shame because yeah. they had something there, man. Yeah. Big time. They had it was all there. creepy and swamp magic, and he had those two big scary guys with him. And it's like who, yeah. who seemed to have returned to the swamp, by the way, and then found sledgehammers. They, they, they returned to a different swamp that's in Southpaw Regional Wrestling. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, it, it, this is the frustrating part, and you're right. It was, I mean, it was there. I mean, it was all there. Mm. And but after like what three or four years of just like talking in circles and losing every match mm. and stuff that makes no sense and, and, and feuds even... that last forever. Like, I can't remember. I mean, I, I remember like things with Bray Wyatt that have shocked me, but as far as like a memorable feud that I've just been like, that's the Bray Wyatt feud. And that's the Bray Wyatt match that you go through and go, see, that's the one. That's the one that proves that he's not a totally lost cause. I can't think of anything. Mm. So it's a lost cause. It's because he's never won anything. It's because he's never had. Like, he, he, you don't have to win to have to do something well, he, memorable, no, though. He just doesn't that. So, so do I, anything. Yeah. Well, uh, do you guys remember Bray Wyatt was WWE champion this year for a New York minute? Yeah, uh, that's it. But I felt like they threw him a bone just to say, "Look." Anybody remember that? Barely. I do. I do because I like him. I'm a fan of his. But I also feel they did that to sort of say, "Listen." 
this character still has relevance. Okay, we're getting it off him and taking it to someone else. I don't follow the WWE too, too much, but I feel like that's what they did. They just tried to say, here you go, and we're just going to run. We're not running with this. We're just going to give him the strap for, for a short time, just enough to show that he has relevance, and then we're going to pull it right off of him and, and well, take him he, elsewhere. I feel like, well, again, going back, and I mentioned on the show previously in, in recent months, you know, I went back and watched some first episodes of NXT that they put on the network. And again, introductions of Bray Wyatt and things like that. Still, I, I think, had that vibe, right? Um, and and kind of held up a bit, right? But still, um, I feel like what they've done, especially recently around, around WrestleMania, and they had the weird maggots in the ring projection mm-hmm. thing. Like, I feel like there were some production people uh, working around the Bray Wyatt gimmick and kind of experimenting with some concepts, mm-hmm. and they just didn't work. They just didn't work. And I think he's a victim of too much of that as well, on top of, you can see the booking and things like that, mm-hmm. right? Like, it, it's, you know, we, we talked about recently on one of the shows about, hey, you know, why, you know, Mike, Mike, Mike and I, I think, had this conversation, and, uh, you know, hey, you know, he needs to evolve like Undertaker evolved. Mm-hmm. But then again, he's still Bray Wyatt losing and rambling. If they had people that were, by the way, don't change that. I love, I love looking up and seeing myself <laughs> froze on that screen. It's amazing. Yeah. But uh, if they were going to let anybody experiment with any character, let it be Zack Ryder. No one gives a shit about him. I mean, who cares? I mean, he's right, a good right, talent. Right. But I mean, why would you touch something to try to hear? Here, we're going to give you someone to work with, to experiment with. Here, let's give you this guy, the world champion. <laughs> okay, that sounds fantastic. Why would you do that? Um, he, Like you said, his gimmick, his character had enough going. Mm-hmm. He, he was starting to really, he, he could grab some steam. But like you said, he, they're putting maggots in the ring and shit like that. Yeah. Uh, see, I'm, uh, by the way. Side note, I'm going to try not to swear as much as I did on previous episodes here because <laughs> I barely got in any clean words. It was all swearing with some clean words sprinkled in. So I'm going to try to change that around this time around. This so. is an RWA yeah. gymnasium. I, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know how you are there. Hey, they gave me the green light to be filthy. They gave me the green light. I was like, a, whoa, there's some gestures yeah, I say- that I don't remember. <laughs> We're like that's not the hentai I remember from that's right. good clean super hentai from IWC. Well, yeah, a good super hentai now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like I'm living up to my name. That's, that's <laughs> it. That's it. Those IWC hentai days are over. So. <laughs> But, but but anyways, yeah. Speaking of evolution, evolution of a character. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now, I'm I'm seeing that there are some people in the chat talking about some stuff. So I'm going to bring up some of the comments they're talking about because I think it's kind of relevant and interesting for the conversation. Dave Podner, for instance, is talking that they need to do a 180. He's thinking of when Jake Roberts came back with the albino snake. Was he also Bible thumping exactly. reborn Jake too? Yeah, that's what he's talking oh, about. Yeah. 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 Bible oh. thumping Bray Wyatt. That could work. He needs to roll Mordecai on this thing. <laughs> and right? Tina actually kind of carried on that. Could you imagine Bray taking a swim in the lake of reincarnation? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what that, if that a no, no. Here, here's what you should do. You call up um, Velveteen Dream. <laughs> yeah, and you have him bring Bray Wyatt to the waters of Lake Minnetonka. <laughs> so what if you do a 180 of sorts with them, but it's Bo Dallas who's getting gender reassignment. And there's <laughs> that's, your, all, that's all I'm saying. Does that work? I mean, Both that way you don't gone. have to touch Bray too much. You don't have to touch Bray too much. You can just, you know, dabble with his brother. That's what I say. Go down that road. I just wanted to get this off there. <laughs> <Here's that. laughs> we, need, we, need like, we need like Finn Balor to be Shang Tsung and remove the soul of the God from Bray Wyatt. And he becomes like an empty shell and only Bo can make him wrestle again and just <laughs> calls him Wyndham. Like, I mean, could you imagine that? All these feuds with Bray Wyatt are like, just like these endless, just death marches through like creative, like this feud needs to end with like, Finn, like, dumping Bray into a casket and lighting it on fire. Like, it, this needs to be... Like, I, I, how else does Finn get out of this without just 
being like totally dragged out. He feuded with the Drifter, and he got more out of that than he did feuding with Bray Wyatt. Well, I mean, he was a great Pittsburgh trained. Uh, Hentai, did you train that one? I did you, not. You no. didn't know? Who, no. trained, who trained That would surely do. Surely do. Yep. There yeah. you go. Yeah, I just stopped in here and there. So <laughs> I, I didn't well, train. Who, taught him, who taught him to play guitar? That's what I would. He That's came in the, the wrestling yeah. knowing that. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Be yeah. Some of that bonus wrestling training. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that little extra that you don't get at any other wrestling school. There you go. Come you down. To wrestle the I- and play guitar. So <laughs> Come on down to IWC. <laughs> Multi-talented. <laughs> yes, sir. So, no, absolutely. Um, but anyways, no. So there is this, right? And there is the let's throw everybody at the shield, um, you know, uh, dress up party that's happening. Um, with, with, cause it's, <laughs> you all right over there? Alex Carr's comment in the chat room. Yes, yes. By the way, you are officially voice of the chat room since it, it never works over here. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I'm kind of trying to... I, ha- I always have the chat room up, too, and I'm not bad-mouthing Finn, Jen Carlin's. <laughs> no, no, no. She's not, it's not that you're bad-mouthing Finn. It's just that she doesn't want Finn to change. She just wants Finn left as Finn. She's, she's she sensitive wants... because when he came up, he came with the great pumpkin get-up the other night, and I was like, oh, hell no, this is bad. She's like, <laughs> you leave him alone. I'm like, no. Oh, this is bad. Hold on. Hold on. Is is Jen Carlin's actually Linus waiting for the arrival of great of the Great Pumpkin now? <gasps> yes. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Someone get her a blankie. Oh, I just want to film her in a pumpkin patch, and there's like that little th- scene where Snoopy rises from the background, and it's just a cardboard cutup of Finn, but we painted with, the Great Pumpkin with, paint with on him. Snoopy with Finn Balor makeup. <laughs> Guys, I just got my show title. Oh, great! <laughs> Photoshop right. now. All right, it's, it's exactly. a great, it's a great pumpkin, Finn Balor. Is that it? I just put the great Finn. The great Finn. Uh, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. There's so much more show to happen. Uh, <laughs> but like it's Finn. So we got we got dressed up with the shield this week. Um, which the way to Kurt, Kurt Angle talked through the call letters. What? Kurt Angle talked through. Shield Sierra Hotel. Like Kurt talked through it. Oh, so sad. Way to why step we, on why it. Do we, why do we give him a live microphone? Kurt Angle? Because yeah. he's Kurt Frank and Angle. And I want you to think back to all the other past GMs we had and how sick of them sick of them you got. And just let Kurt go. It's nice having a, a good guy GM. It's been it's Oh still yeah, because we for me. really haven't had a lot of that. Have you watched SmackDown? <laughs> Yeah, they like started at the same time. Man, it's nice to have just a likable general manager. It is nice Isn't to have like general mean, managers. Just like, yeah, yeah. What he's just trying to do his job, man. I, I kind of just want you know I Jack Tunney f stuff up all the time too, and no one cared about that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I want three months with no general managers. Nope, that's not happening. Anarchy, anarchy. No, I, I, that's, that's what, what two hundred five lies for. <laughs> And it's a good show. <laughs> I don't think that's the reason, but still. Uh, William Regal is barely on NXT, and NXT is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. But so, all right, fine. You know who I want to to GM both shows because I think he has some free time. Jimmy Dario Quaid. Dario Cueto. <laughs> Dario Cueto. Well, we'll we'll deal with those questions when we talk to Chris I want, Joseph I want Dario, Thursday. I want Dario Cueto and. Corey Graves to be the traveling road show between Raw and SmackDown. <laughs> Just so, because that sounds amazing. So let's let's get in this. First of all, I have to I have to show the insane lineup that is the main event now. So it is the Shield. The Halloween party. The Halloween event. party main event um of the Shield versus uh the Miz, the bar, Braun Strowman, and his now his new good buddy, the new Brothers of Destruction, Kane. Uh, please vote for me in November. Kane uh, is now part of this 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 pay per view. Um, hence, it's it's WWE Halloween Havoc. Um, I loved that he came back. It was a amazing surprise, amazing throwback. It's going to be a lot of fun, I think, in the in this. But really, we got to throw five guys at the shield right now. <laughs> How much trouble can Kane get into when he's on a team with four other guys? Yes. He's going to do his thing. He's going to get knocked over. He's going to hang out wherever he hangs out whenever he's in those matches. Hide behind the barricade, you know, where you can't see him. And he'll pop up and he'll choke slam somebody. Um, so so we think, I mean, the shield are totally winning, right? 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 They're winning, right? They have five guys, right? And right including, one of them is Braun Strowman, but they're winning, right? Right? Because I, 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 I might be in trouble. Like the wife might not be like like might not like that if they don't win. So they're winning, right? I, Assure me, I'm Sorg. Okay. 
I will pay for one month for everyone, every host on the Mayhem show for the WWE Network. If right when that match starts, Roman Reigns kicks both Death, Seth, and Dean in the dick and walks away, <laughs> I will Man. pay. I will. I'm. I'm not joking. I will pay for everyone's one month subscription to WWE Network. I don't think it's happening. No, nope. don't think it's happening. I know it's not happening. That's why I'm. Mad Mike. Yeah, yeah. Mad Mike. Instead yeah. of paying for their WWE subscription, pay for a sponsorship through the Mayhem Show for Patreon. There you go. Okay. Or get all, right. all of us a Virgil action figure. That's what we all want. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Super hentai too. You want that Virgil? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want two, two, please. two of them. Two, two of them. So when he shows up at your next random wrestling show, <laughs> is yeah, right, exactly. Listen, yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna tell you when we do the second one. Just two, please. Two. Thank you. Leave it to your imagination, That's internet. It. <laughs> Um, I feel bad for Mr. Raj. Yeah, me too. Me too, a little bit. <laughs> I, Curtis Axel got so much love last night. Mm-hmm. AJ chimes in. Seeing that pick of the main event made me think of Spirit Squad versus DX from Saturday Night's main event for some reason. <laughs> yep, that's exactly <laughs> kinda, right. And I was kind of having a flashback. What was the um back in since we were talking about WCW, like the Doomsday Cage with Hogan and Macho oh, Man versus yes. like twenty guys? They won that one. Yeah, they- yeah, they had to fight through. Didn't they have to fight through different levels of the yep. cage. Yep, yeah. there and were. It was, hold on, there were two guys on each level, um, including I believe Flair and Arn Anderson might have been on one level. Wasn't uh, Abdul the Butcher in there? The butcher, I think, was in one. Uh, Zeus was in one of them. Uh, Maybe Cactus Jack. No, I don't think no. Cactus was in that one. I no, uh, the Kluger other, was in that one. Uh, probably and, uh, Sullivan. Yeah, you're yeah. probably right. Was a Flair and Luger as a Horseman level? Because there was like uh, horsemen, Flair and then there was Dungeon of Doom. But like Luger was not in the horsemen, but they dragged him into it. Okay. Because, okay, because, you know, because we need Luger. somebody. We need eight guys to face Hogan and Savage. And Arnie Anderson is scared of heights. Is that true? Is that yeah, I don't know. It there? could be. I don't know. I feel like he seems oh. like a guy that wouldn't uh, 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 go beyond a stepladder. Yeah. So this will be like that, except. It'll be three on five, like, and there I, will I not just, be a triple decker cage. I feel like Arn Anderson would be like one of those man wasn't meant to fly guys. Hold on, um, it right. was it was the Mega Powers versus the Alliance to end Alchemania. Mm-hmm. Okay, how'd that go? Hold on, hold on. Okay, you ready for this lineup? Yep. Ric Flair, Arn Anderson, Ming, the Barbarian, oh, yeah. Lex Luger, the Taskmaster, Z Gangsta, that's Zeus. also known as Zeus, Zeus and. Yeah. The ultimate solution. Oh yeah, that was unfortunate. Bane from the terrible Batman movie, right? Wait, if Rob really? Brown were he, were he would know that he was an actor or he was a wrestler. He was an actor too. I think so. Uh, yes, he did yeah. play. Chat Bane room and, will help me out. Oh, yeah. Batman Keep and Robin. Robin. Yes, yes. He Thank you, Super Hentai. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You should bring him back all the time. Yeah. To help me out. That's it. Just, just queue just, in when I need to. Just no, jump in and go, throw you're, you're right. Yes. <laughs> 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 there you go. Um, and no, but yeah, that's going to be interesting. There'll be plenty of plunder in that match at the very least. Um, other than that, according to this, it just looks like just women are featured for the rest of the pay-per-view. Uh, we have... Uh, well, we have to have something because there's no fucking title matches, Sorg. No, there is one. There's a women's match. The top title on Raw. The top title on Raw, the women's title. Top girls. Top Hashtag girls. Top girls. Hashtag top Hashtag girls. Top girls. Uh, Alexa Bliss uh, against uh, Mickey James. I'm looking for that. I'm of course huge Mickey James fan. Mickey's been awesome. Mickey, yes, yeah, she has been on this, hasn't she? Yeah. All right. So, hold on. Does Mickey win this just so we can feed her to Oscar? We've done that already, haven't we? Oh, Oscar has faced everyone on Raw except for Sasha Banks. Mm, that's your money. Oscar right has there. faced everyone on Raw. That's Hell in a Cell next year. <laughs> it could be. It, it could be, seriously. Um, and then we do get Asuka and poor, poor Emma. <laughs> Matt, you're you're right. you're an Emma. Emma's gonna get a great match out of it. <laughs> Not does, that Asuka needs any help. No, 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 no. Does no. that match go longer than two <laughs> minutes? Because I don't think so. If if you haven't seen Oscar versus Emma from that um, takeover in London. Go check it out because it is amazing. It's a great match. It's worth great. going back and checking it out. 
And I don't I, think they're going to get to that level because I don't think that's what this match is designed to do. Mm-hmm. But I, I think Asuka's going to kick her back so hard we're going to see a promo for Emelina on Raw. <laughs> <laughs> and we also have we do have on the kickoff Alicia Fox against what? Sasha. Who against Sasha? Alicia Fox. I, I have I have to chime in here just for a moment because Facebook pops up with friends who are doing live video streams right now. We are currently streaming with live live with super hentai mm-hmm. and uh your friend marshall gambino is uh, currently live streaming from disney oh that's cute is he wearing, <laughs> is he wearing mickey mouse ears i, I don't know because it was just like the castle that i just saw it's adorable good for him <laughs> <laughs> completely different disparity but it's just yeah <laughs> We should, we should try to get him on the line. I think the fireworks go off soon down there. So. Do they? <laughs> He's on here next week. I hope he brings the Mickey ears with him. Yeah. Somebody tweet him and tell him to bring the Mickey ears yeah. with him for Please the show Please let him show week. up looking like full, like tourist. Just got oh, out of Disney, him, like t-shirt. <laughs> Mickey t-shirt, Mickey t-shirt, Mickey ears. Like, like, you know, the awkward wrap around goofy shirt, you know? The Donald Duck hat, yeah, you know? Who do you think is Marshall Gamby? Hentai, you've teamed with him for a while. Yeah, yeah. train him. Who yeah. do you think is, or do you know who Marshall Gambino's favorite Disney character is? Oh, oh, nah. That's See, he has, question. That's he an is excellent not, question. Yeah, he has not told me that. You know what? Let me text his wife. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. Let's but before see. you before you get the answer, just like best guess. Uh best guess. I would say uh he you know what? I would say that dog. Which one? Pluto. Pluto. Because he Pluto. loves dogs. He's an animal lover. Yeah. I'm gonna say Pluto. <laughs> what about you Goofy? Guys? Isn't Goofy kind of a dog? Why. I mean, I don't know. I mean that's a long standing Marshall. I mean the guy he, that he's that, that dog that nobody wants at the pound. Who, Pluto or Goofy? Goofy. Oh, yeah. Who the talking one. No one wants that one. Yeah. Shut I up. Feel like, I feel I like Marshall you Gambino is more, of, is more of a Pete fan. <laughs> a Pete fan? Yeah, Pete. Like like the guy that, like, the, the angry guy that, always, that was on Goof Troop and the Goofy oh, movie. Oh, the guy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like the bad guy from Steamboat Willie. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why. I feel like Marshall the Bull Gambino would really like like Pete. I don't know why. Like sounds the, about right. This is who I identify with. <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds good. So, the guy. He's also the guy before a wrestling we, show. We have, show we have some, uh, he's we also. Have some wait, wait. He's also the guy before a wrestling show that just tweets, "I'm ready to punch people in the face tonight." You know, I mean, just <laughs> and yeah. The, the the chat room seems to feel like it's goofy. Like you know, you see him with fans, and then you wonder what he's like in like a line for Space Mountain. I hope he got the VIP pass. Let's just, <laughs> well, let's just sorry, hope he got the VIP pass. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't do a minute 45 wait for Space move. Mountain. No, yeah, no, he doesn't do that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jeez. Sorg, I just, Sorg, I'm just see him just plowing through a line. <laughs> I'm, yes. writing, I'm writing it back in. I'm totally writing this back in because we've got so much more to talk hey, about. Hey, we talk about Space Mountain. That's kind of wrestling related. Woo! Yeah. Thank Brought you. it back around. Thank you. <laughs> Sorg. Where do we get our pizza from? Where do we get our pizza from? Our good friends right up the street. Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with a perfect pepperoni pizza. And um, once again with the accolades coming up here from our friends at theincline.com. Is it the incline? Incline? Yes, the incline.com. Where you can go over there and you can uh, participate, participate in the ultimate Pittsburgh pizza bracket. And this is not updated from last week because our they, they made it to the Elite Eight where Slice on Broadway is going to take out, take out, yes, take out, Minio's Pizza, Minio's Pizza House. We're coming for you, Minio's! Uh-oh. Go get them. Go get them, guys. Um, no, go go support that. The the, the Incline's uh, got a great thing going on. There's, there's actually a pretty cool article with like a, the, a pizza reviewer that, that you were telling me about, yeah, right, Missy? I'm, I'm pulling up the um, right but thing. But they I'm got several right locations if you're in the Pittsburgh area. And I know a lot of you are. All right, go back to the dock. Uh, as, what's that? Go back to the dock. Go back to the dock? It's I'll work underneath. on underneath. We'll, we'll, we'll get that going. All right. Um, also, also, can you bring up that one image for me? From this week, so we can do our PSA. Which one? From Dave. Because <laughs> oh, yes. we have to talk about yes, something, yes, guys. Okay. We have to have a little bit of. Right. We have to listen. We have to have a little chat. But first of all, please support them. Um, no, a great thing with the pizza bracket, uh, uh, you know, and, and seeing them getting some more oculates. Uh, of course, they're right up here in in Beachview, right on the tracks. Hence the original location. Hence the Broadway, and uh, uh, down in Carnegie, PA, on the Main Street. PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates, and the brand new location 
over in East Liberty. The Riz is excited because it is right in his backyard. So really appreciate that. And we do have to talk about. So we we have fun on the show, guys. We do have fun on the show. And uh, and 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 so people have been saying, hey, hey, lock. Uh, kick the door down and say mayhem sent me when you go in to get your slice on Broadway pizza. So they know, right? And we said, yeah, well, hey guys, don't, don't, maybe, maybe don't um, kick the door down, maybe. Um, and Dave Podner sent us this uh, amazing picture of him attempting to kick the door down at the new location of Slice <laughs> on Broadway. Um, which is both, both amazing and scary at the same time to me. Uh, so, uh, so, so Dave, we appreciate your enthusiasm. We definitely appreciate your enthusiasm, but please do not. First of all, it's a pull. First of all, it's a pull. It's not. I was going to say, make well. sure, make sure it's a push door. Right. A push door. Right. A push door. Um, unless you're, unless you are skilled enough to put your foot on the door and pull it forward with the tip of your foot yes exactly so um uh please please yeah please don't don't kick the door down for our good friends of slice on broadway and thank you so much uh dave and everybody else that's been supporting our supporting our awesome people over there on uh on on slice on broadway and, and our sponsors around there too so um we're gonna go no 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 you know what i tell you what we're going to chat about first head tie yeah, there, there, there's, there is a, uh, um, you know, somebody, somebody's doing really good out there. Mm-hmm. One Britt Baker, which I understand that you had a, a hand in training. Uh, that's correct. Nice. Uh, actually, Marshall Gambino and myself helped train her. Well, she's been in the news lately. Um, one uh, mentioned on WWE.com, going to be part of the Anthony Bourdain uh, No Reservations. No. Is it No Reservations? Uh, um, no, 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 no. Parts no. Unknown. Parts, Parts unknown. unknown. Thank yeah. you. Which is really funny for wrestling, and they made every reference to that in the WWE article to pains. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, featured, of course, the cameras were rolling in July at an IWC show that featured Adam Cole uh, taking on John McChesney, another great fr- friend of the show uh, in, in the local wrestling scene. Um, and, uh, and, and, of course, there was also a big, a big article about uh, in, in, in uh, Pitt University's uh, uh, online publication as well about you know the dentist you know right. that <laughs> the dentist dental school student that's going into wrestling and everything like that and I know you know it, it's it's got to be really cool to see uh, a student like that really kind of flourishing a bit these days yeah it most certainly is it's you know as a as a trainer I, you always want to see your students surpass you and you know go on to greater greater things if that's their goal you know wrestling's a it you go as far as you want to, I feel, you know, mm. just how much work you want to put in. Well, she wants to go, well, she wants to go to the WWE. So um, it's great to see that she's she's definitely on the right path. She's got a great head on her shoulders, and she's very athletic to uh, to make that work and to eventually get signed. So um, <laughs> there she is. That's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that makes me very proud, though. That makes me a proud papa right there. And I, I talk to her uh, weekly. She... Um, she lets me know how everything's going, what, you know, how, how the shows are, who she's been working with, uh, mm-hmm. what she's, I always ask her, what did you learn? She sends me her videos, you know, of her matches and stuff. And, mm-hmm. and you know, I, I, I pick out, I critique, uh, what maybe she could work on better, but, um, you know, she, she's doing the right thing. She's on the right path. Like I said, so it's, it's, it's a great accomplishment and she should be very proud of herself. Yeah, and it's great. If you guys aren't on video, uh, if you go to, it's on uh, pitwire.pit.edu, uh, and uh, we'll have that tweeted out to you. Look for the Wrestling Dental Student Visits Parts Unknown. <laughs> yes, Parts Unknown. Yeah, we're really rolling with this, guys. Uh, but, uh, no, it, it's, she's uh, in her, basically in her ring gear and, and, and uh, her belt from Remix uh, in a dental, uh, by a dental chair. You know, ready to go. So <laughs> that could be that could be. You know, if the wrestling doesn't work out, I mean, I think she's got a pretty cool themed dentistry uh, that she could do at this point. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, that's a lot of fun. She could use a chair. She could already go. Face off. Teeth, she sorry. could go into WWE as a second generation superstar, being the daughter of Doctor Isaac Gankum. Yeah, we could do that. As a, there you go, WWE. There go. That's probably where we'll yeah. end up. Man, that's some low hanging fruit. It is a little bit. Well, I, seen... I'm just like it, it's amazing because, and obviously there are other wrestlers that we've seen you know, this has happened with but uh, i mean Britt's only been in this game for like what, a little over two years mm-hmm. at this mm-hmm. point like what mm-hmm. 
and as a trainer, like what what separates the the the, the guys and the girls who who maybe don't quite um get it immediately from those who just like like Britt and others who seem just it clicks like that well you know with Britt it, she's got a lot of uh natural athleticism mm -hmm. to, and that that really helps not that uh some of the other trainees um that don't have as much natural athleticism can't get it can't make it click because they they have there there's been situations where that's worked for them but uh one of her one of her uh, attributes is she's a woman that can wrestle. She's not in that um, that that uh, back in the attitude era where it's TNA and all this. She can actually wrestle. Mm -hmm. She can do the moves. She can perform the moves. The psychology's there. She she knows how to sell, and she, she's getting better in every every aspect of that. So, uh, and she's very personable. That's that's the biggest thing. I, yeah. I try to teach. Um, my trainees to be respecting, very respective of, of, uh, no matter where you go, uh, no matter what anybody asks you to do, you do it. Um, as long as it's nothing, uh, you know, obviously ridiculous, but, uh, uh, you, you just listen, you take notes, you always ask for advice. I, I always tell my trainees, if you, when you're getting ready to go out for a match, try to find someone in the locker room that has, um, that's well respected and it's got uh, uh, some of the most, uh, I don't want to say the most experience, but it's been, let's say, seasoned. Ask them to watch your match. They're going to be able to, they're going to be able to give you advice that you're not catching. Maybe if you're just watching back film of your own match and you're not getting advice from anyone right then and there, you'll be able to pull that out and say, oh, that's what so and so meant. That's what, you know, Billy Gunman or just whoever. Just, I said, just always ask for that. And she is, she has been following that, that mold religiously since day one. And that's why I feel that it's working for her. So that's awesome. Well, yeah. I, I have to like weighing in. We, we work the shows, we'd work the DVD tables mm -hmm. and stuff. And I pay attention to which of the wrestlers come over and make it a point to shake everyone's hand and say hello to the other workers at the show. And Britt's not one of those that has gotten too big for her britches, so to say. She still comes over. She says hi. She talks to us. Um, you know, I mean, she, she's very personable. She's very cool about stuff. None of this has gone to her head, mm -hmm. which is something that's really... Like I've seen other people come through and they get to the point where they think they're too big for things mm -hmm. and she doesn't have any of that. She's still homegrown Brit, right. which is, which is really cool. I think. Well, she's going to get, you're going to get nowhere. If you, if you're exposed to having a, a, a an ego or being a, a smart ass or anything mm -hmm. like that, promoters aren't going to want to book you mm -hmm. because they're relying on their roster to get feedback of okay how is so and so how are they in the locker room were they you know were they respectful were they follow protocol so to speak yep. if if they're walking around with their head high you know just just thinking and uh thinking they're they're better than you that that, that travels fast that word travels real fast mm -hmm. um you know i try to teach them to, to, to keep a level head but listen everyone's their own person you eventually they eventually gotta leave the nest and there's only so much I can do after that. And if they end up getting a bad rap, that's, that's not on, on the trainers, you Absolutely. know? So. And she, she seemed to have, like, cause I, th I feel like, you know, you know, seeing a lot of the kind of developing women's wrestlers on, on the indies, like there's a, like, I don't know if it's a confidence thing, but there's always like this little bit of, you know, something you see in, in a lot of them that are kind of still figuring out. Mm -hmm. She kind of walked out and looked like she would have walked straight off of us, you know, like look like a diva, you know, mm -hmm. in presence and everything like that. And obviously still needed, you know, ring work kind of get worked out and everything, but it didn't, it wasn't glaring mm -hmm. right with some of these girls that you see their first patches, especially at approving grounds or something. Right. Right. And you're just like, Oh, there's something there, but obviously there's going to be a, a long way to go. Mm -hmm. Like it seemed like she started at a really good spot. Yeah. Yeah. So. And that was, you know what she's, she would come down uh, to train on her days that she, they didn't have training. You know, there were other open ring nights. She would come down. She would. And I, I give them all the, uh, the, when I was training, I gave them all the opportunity to come down. I would say, you can sit there and watch and learn, but you're not going to get in the ring. Not yet. Not yet. Cause you're so new. And she would be down there every opportunity she had to just sit there and learn, mm -hmm. sit there and ask questions. Um, and, and like I said, it's paying off. You, you could tell the people that do their homework 
in that study study their craft. Well, and it, it was interesting again because behind the scenes and stuff that we do with the with some of the local promos, it's she would be one of the ones in the ring when the guys would be warming up and doing their stuff before shows, and she would be talking to guys that she didn't normally see because you know IWC brought someone in or something. She'd be talking to them about different things that she wanted to be doing and. You, you do this really cool, you know, move. Can you kind of show me how you do that? Mm-hmm. She was one of the only trainees that I saw doing that sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. She wants to learn. She wanted to learn. Mm-hmm. And I think it's phenomenal that her passion for it, you, you can see it and it's going to take her places. No, oh, yeah, most certainly. I told her that the, the pieces are there. She just needs to put that puzzle together mm-hmm. and she'll know the puzzles together when she gets signed, mm-hmm. you know, there's your step one. So, and then you know, travel from there but uh yeah. you know you you don't i was once told that if you want something bad enough just ask <laughs> yeah just ask the worst that can happen <laughs> is they say no who, okay at right, least you right. didn't at least you didn't leave any any doubt on the table you asked but also whoever you ask may know who you are now yeah yep. right so, i think it's like having like a very clear idea of too of like where you want to go like when obviously you know some wrestlers get into it um um, and, and, and there's it's a certain degree of motivation that separates some from the others, but um, especially someone like Britt, it seems like she's a very clear idea of where she wants to go, where she wants to take it, and then once she's in, she's in, and that obviously applies to other people too that you've seen over the years. Once you're in, you're in, and you're going, and and, and it makes a big difference. It, it, it's just amazing, and I mean, just in general, um, sorry, we were talking about this the other night, like it feels like, and maybe you could talk about this too, it feels like Pittsburgh is kind of, I don't want to say hotbed because that might be too strong of a word, but it feels like there's a lot of talent coming out of Pittsburgh area lately, um, more than you would see in other parts of the country. Yeah. You know what? I always, I wrestled for IWC. I wrestled in the area for a long time. And uh, back in the mid 2000s, we had um, Norm Connors used to run IWC. Uh, he had his finger on the pulse with bringing in outside guys and making them a normal rotation. Cole Cabana, CM Punk, uh, Alex Shelley, uh, AJ Styles, all them guys. Th- this was a normal stop for them. And so I always felt like Pittsburgh, on top of those guys, I mean, yeah, you had your locals too. It, I feel like Pittsburgh is like a, uh, it's like the sleeper city for for guys, for talent. I mean, you know, Logan Shulo got signed. Mm-hmm. Um, Corey Graves made something of himself. Mm-hmm. Uh you know, in his brother, Sam, Definitely, you know, yeah. he, he's in Mexico. So it's not just even getting to the big time, but just traveling, get, getting out there. If you notice a lot of these guys, their history, a lot of them come through Pittsburgh. And so, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I feel the same way, not just because, you know, this is my home, but I mean, I agree with you. If you look, you can see a lot of these guys uh, were, oh. were mainstays here for, for a while. Yeah, I mean, just looking at, I mean, it's cool to watch like Monday Night Raw and you're seeing Corey Graves announcing Elias and right. then doing a pay-per-view, even doing a pay-per-view with like Vic from Cleveland, mm-hmm. right? That's doing 205 Live now, yeah. you know? And then there's Kurt Angle, you know? Right. And, and just like, wow, this is like so <laughs> Pittsburgh right now, right? Right. It's, it's just it's just really cool, to, you know, like, and especially like knowing all those guys. All those guys have been a part of this show in some shape or form mm-hmm. or a part of IWC or other promotions in the area, you know, and seeing them on that stage and doing things with the Good Brothers and singing and Whatever the case may be, you know, <laughs> like we're seeing this week. It's just it, everybody's just in a really good spot. And it's really cool to see all of that going on. So um, and in the meantime, then we do have I, I do, we do have the picture and I do have to show you guys for the video. Uh, this is this is uh, uh, Dave. Um, I don't know. Attending to break and enter slice on Broadway before it was open uh, the other day. Again, so Dave, that's a pull door. You can that's tell a pull by the door. handle. You, I mean, maybe he's trying to open it with his foot the other way. <laughs> But uh, but they are open now, and I love that Slice on Broadway actually responded to that. <laughs> please, sir, so, do not kick in our door. No, 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 please don't okay. kick on the door. I have not received a message from it. They have not said anything about it when I go pick up my pizzas on Tuesdays. Well, Riz was so, also at the West Riz was at, at it Monday. Yes, he was. Monday. Yes, he was. The door was intact at that point. The door wasn't. So. <laughs> oh, geez. You know, all the problems of opening a new new restaurant, and now you have to worry about our fans. Uh, but anyways, no, thank you guys for supporting. Hey, we're going to be right back with a big question. We got a doozy for you this week. We have a lot of fun with it because there's a lot of 
interesting things happening with the roster of WWE these days. Ooh, we got, yeah, you had the fingers going. Yeah. There you go. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> we'll be right back. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are back. The whole crew here. Mad Mike from Poughkeepsie, New York. He's dancing. Woo! He's dancing for yes. you, you audio people out there. Uh, and of course, mainstream Matt. Hello. A real journalist. Yes. The real boy. Allegedly. Mm-hmm. The real alleged journalist. Don't and of use course, the F word around me. But, no, don't, don't. And don't use it around Super Hentai. Please. He's trying to be a big boy. I'm, uh, yeah, he's I'm trying, trying to like be a hell. good boy tonight. <laughs> 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 oh, that guy didn't even notice you. They walked by. I was yeah. waiting for that response. Are you getting any good looks out of this window here of people Coming walking up. by? Yeah, I saw yeah. a couple people Are they like, what the fuck is happening yeah. right now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look in and they see and then they speed up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they're like why what is happening i guess it's halloween you know uh <laughs> it was kind of good timing to have you you That's know true. it makes it slightly less weird i know to i don't have like you. that no i mean I'm, i wish it was the middle of june right now exactly just, uh, some exactly off i mean as it, and then we have all these people on the team driving by too and be like, what? yeah so, we have not seen a police car yet. So no, we have not. no, we have not. Well, I don't know. Good. I don't know what that's, that's going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> they come in. Super hentai. What are you doing here? <laughs> I know you. I know you. Yeah. <laughs> Stunned Again? on the shit out of me. Yeah. Mace me. Uh, but anyway. Let's not make it a wasted trip. <laughs> 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 Mainstream, Matt, you have a big question, and there's a lot of things going on leading into this. Let me see if I could properly frame this uh, question. Um, so according to some reports, um, our friend and Neville, su- supposedly rumors and innuendo, rumors, innuendo, allegedly Neville basically walked out of raw, uh, last, last Monday week. night. Yeah. Um, because I don't know, he didn't want to lose to Enzo again. Who would anyway, he was like, I'm done. See a piece. So everyone assumes that he's going to be trying to, um, you know, uh, uh, end up uh, away from WWE. He's he's joined the Bullet Club. I don't know. Yeah. Well, who doesn't? <laughs> you know. Um. So he wants to get out of WWE. He wants to strike out on his own. Um. And I think um. Then today we got some word that um. Uh. That n- apparently Nia Jax is kind of like um. Feeling like maybe she's uh, burnt out, maybe or maybe rethinking her career path or something like that, and. Um, it looked like maybe she was thinking about maybe asking for her release, but now she's on kind of like a leave of absence, reportedly, allegedly, journalistically, uh, speaking. So, um, it kind of gets me thinking about, um, some of the guys who take that chance and they, and they jump and, and they basically ask for their release from WWE because they want to go out and they want to try to have a go of it on their own. And there are obviously success stories like Cody Rhodes, who has done very well for himself and he's you know, running with the Bullet Club, and he's the Ring of Honor World Champion, so he bet on himself, and it was a winning bet, and then you've got guys like, um, you know, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, I might get the released versus, you know... Um, and, and by the way, Cody looks like he's having a blast He's having we a saw good him time. in Pittsburgh. Yeah. Well, the Never other, happier. The other question that I have, and this kind of stems into it, is does that also expand to people who have been let go for some reason or another, as far as this question is concerned? Well... Maybe, but it, the good news is that that's not really going to be anything that the people answering the big question are going to have to worry about. Um, kind of, so basically, the big question, and kind of looking at other examples like Drew McIntyre, um, he was away from WWE, and I think he got released. Did he get released, or did he, did he, he, did he ask for a release, he or did he, he get re- released? He Who was knows? released, yeah. Um, but anyway, he went out, he did his thing, he came back stronger than ever, and he made himself an even bigger star away from WWE. So that when he came back, now he's the NXT champion. You know, things are looking up for him. So the big question is, um, what guy from who, what guy or girl in WWE right now would you look at and say, if you asked for your release tomorrow and went out, you know, struck out on your own, um, do you think would have the best chance of going out on their own and making something more of themselves to the point where they would come back even bigger, stronger? Um, Wait, Whatever. before that before that i have to let you know that i just got a live notification for marshall gambino that just says teacups thank you <laughs> because i had hocus pocus which is why i interrupted you had hocus pocus. okay it's a, the funniest thing i just saw on my phone when See? i'm trying to 
I am so sorry to interrupt the big I'm... question, but back to the big question. Oh yes. my god, I'm picturing Marshall Bull Gambino on the teacup stands. But of course, you just, you, I mean, you're, you're, and it's, you're not like, no, it's not, you know, Marshall and Strickos. It's just like, it's Marshall like, Gambino. I'm just, I'm just picturing in Marshall full... with, with Mickey Mouse ears, like with his Beauty and the Beast cup on, on, on the teacups, like, Tales all this time. But still in like that suit that we have in the picture for oh, next yeah, week. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna make the next week really interesting. He doesn't listen to the show. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Well, I, think, I mean, unless someone nah. tells him the word will no, get back. No. No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I may have already texted them. <laughs> here's, here's the other question: Did you watch the Did show you before you came on, on today? I <laughs> I may or may have Did- not. <laughs> fine. They're They're fine. wrestlers don't watch this show no, no. anyway so so who would benefit the most i mean i think uh, who, who who would you say is the best say, would be the best bet to if they ask for their release from wwe we tomorrow say, would do the best to get and, out there make something of themselves come back even stronger than before can we also say anybody except for dolph ziggler because let's just take him off the table oh somebody else that's already, an easy some, one somebody just put no, that says we like that's the first answer to this question every time Honestly, Actually, tom, I, I, don't I don't think so don't tom think phillips so? was no. part of an no. answer tom phillips yeah jen carlin what is tom phillips going to do jen, jen carlin says tom phillips why does she, she hate must be tom talking phillips. about something else I tom don't know. phillips is a horrible person no what yes yes um, like, read, read up on the internet about Tom Phillips. The oh, internet no. wouldn't lie oh, to your source. Oh, wait, I guess, I guess Tom Phillips was something else. Oh, because okay. she's like, no! <laughs> Jeez, I mean, right. he's no, he's no what's-his-face from Impact. Um, oh, he's on leave as well. That's that's what her... Oh, he's on leave. That's what her Tom Phillips did was. Did he do something? Uh, he did something a while ago that he might be getting punished for now. Oh, no. Oh, it just took them the song he, to... to he's he's not good with Instagram, Sorg. Let's, let's, oh, oh, no. no. Let's oh, put it he was like man. hitting on other like the the female wrestlers or something, oh, wasn't no. he? He was hitting on a lot of people. Oh sword. no, Tom he's, he's not. He's not. He's not a good person. Oh no. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Matt, you yes. came up with this question. I did. Obviously, you had somebody in mind. Um, I, I've got a couple of people in mind. I was kind of hoping that somebody else would jump in while I kind of tried to sort out my thoughts. While okay, sort. Trying to figure things out here. <laughs> who would benefit most? Like people that maybe not doing so well who, who right would be now. The, who would be the best bet to go outside WWE and come back a bigger star than they were when Man, they left? Definitely. I mean, there, there's so many coming in that are benefit and finally kind of seeing the fruits of their labor, like your Sami Zayn, like even Sami Zayn, even in the position he is now, yeah. is doing very well for himself. I think. Um, yeah, but, it's hard to imagine but, Sammy coming back in a no matter what he would do out on the Indies or whatever, coming back in WWE even a bigger star than he is right now. Like he's in a good spot, don't you think? I think Zack Ryder needs to go. You think he could actually? I think he make needs, something I more of himself outside of the uh, WWE. He did so well. I don't know if he can. I, I you know I don't know if his internet championship uh, internet show thing was a you know his his one hit necessarily but i think that shows that he's creative enough that he could do something really interesting with the chains off of him and mm-hmm. i mean dave but Podner you have to remember. with you dave Podner's with me what's up door you kicking door door kicking dave is uh down with that oh, idea he's got a nickname. oh yeah <laughs> well okay, you're officially part of the show now you got a nickname <laughs> so uh what were you saying mike I was going to say, you have to remember, though, he would not be able to use the name Zack Ryder. Yeah, but I think that's okay. I mean, he, he might be able to use Long Island Ice Z. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He might. I don't know if that's I don't know if that's a WWE trademark or not. But again, I think I, whatever he ends up with, I mean, Cody. Yeah, great. Cody doesn't get the Rhodes name, but you know him. I mean, he has the identity. No, and 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 he's American, you know, American Nightmare, which is just amazing. Here's my question: If Zack Ryder were to leave WWE, would he get to keep the woo woo woo? I would hope so. I, that, uh, he, or yeah. Would he, he receive a cease better. and desist if he said woo 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 outside that of depends. WWE? If he becomes is that part of the question? no no, if he becomes part of the Bullet What's Club, yeah, he's woo, screwed. Woo, I, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> no. Cease. And desist. No, no. <laughs> or, or would it be one of those like the vanilla ice? Ooh, he just sweet. adds another hook at the end, ooh, at the end ooh, of it, sweet. and it becomes something completely different. 
He hey. adds a fourth woo. I don't know if anybody caught woo 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 sweet from Mike over there. Yeah, That's yeah, you good. can throw you can throw woo 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 sweet like there having to do the nice. fist bump with the the horns like it works. I just and, want... and I could I could see him like interacting with the young bucks, and every time they try and to sweet him, he's pump he's pumping his fist so they can't get him. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Potter says woo hoo. There you go. Yes. So there you go. Uh, yeah. Mike, do you have uh, do you have one you'd like to share? Oh, in mind, man. You know, I'm gonna say, and this is this is preemptive, Oscar. <laughs> it's preemptive. I I I think I think Raw is going to ruin her, and I think her run in NXT was magical, and she should just leave right now. She should go to somewhere else. And just be the dominant ass kicker because I'm very scared for her on Raw. <laughs> I'm very, very scared for her. Bobby on Raw. F. J. Town is listening and he is punching his monitor right now. <laughs> <laughs> punching his monitor. <laughs> I just picture him going. I keep no, trying to Mike. prepare Bobby every time I interact with him. I'm like, I, yeah, it's really exciting, Bobby. It just, I, I can't wait. But you know, sometimes things don't work out the way you want them to. So you know, you should be ready for that. Like I, I mean, I, I'm just I'm just looking at past precedent. Finn Balor has been ruined. Mm. Nakamura has been ruined. Mm. Bobby Roode has already lost on SmackDown to Dolph Ziggler. Ugh. Let, let's let's go. I mean, uh, oh oh, Alex, that's just that's just mean. Wait, what, thank what, you what's because with I, Alex? This, this is what I'm laughing that at. That is mean. Go ahead, go ahead, Mike. Alex Carr says in the chat in the chat room that Zach Ryder joining the Bullet Club would be like Virgil joining the NWA. Oh, oh no! That's, oh, just that's what I'm over here laughing. Don't just let anybody in. <laughs> that is mean. That is just mean. I think that Zach. If anything, it'd be like Big Bubba Rogers joining the NWO. Okay, not the best, but doable. A little Maybe. suspicious. It'd, yeah. be, it'd be cooler if he was a big boss man. And I, you got an answer? I, said, I think Zach would be a, a flash in a pan. I think mm-hmm. the indie crowd would, they would dig it at first, and mm-hmm. then it would just fade quick. Yeah. If you had someone like the uh, fashion police, are they still together? Mm-hmm. If you had oh, yeah. like those guys. Oh, yeah. Listen, if you got guys in the indies jumping on imaginary grenades and it's getting over, <laughs> the fashion police are going to get over. Yeah, that's a oh, good yeah, point. Yeah. 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 They do Especially real well. Especially because I don't they're not even called the fashion police on TV. They could take that as a gimmick for like indie shows and they would mm-hmm. kill it. Well they could call it whatever they want at that yeah. point too, because they already call it something kind of different every week with these parodies. Yeah. And beautiful thing, they can do the characters, they can do the skits. Mm-hmm. They don't have they just extended their career because they don't have to take a bump every week. Exactly. Well, they were able to yeah, they were able to stuff. rehabilitate the ascension. Oh, that seemed like an impossible. Well, piece. No, 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 no. I feel like that. I don't think it's rehabilitated yet. No, it's it's. In process, I think though. it's in process. Recast. So we're, so I mean, re- recast a, them yeah. as I don't know comedy guys. Oh god, the surf dudes with attitudes. There you go. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Just an aside from this question, Matt. As the number one Ascension fan, I believe didn't you have Ascension quotes on Twitter? I did. Yes, I do. I, we, the quotes are got to be great these days. Uh, <laughs> it's tough to keep up with these days. That's the what, tough what one, is yeah. your take on the Ascension as they stand now? Uh, you know what? Anytime they're getting on TV, it's a good thing for any wrestler. So I'm happy for them. <laughs> there you go. Nice. There you go. Did we? I don't. Did they're on TV, it? not taking bumps. It's great, right? Yeah, that's a good gig. Uh, okay, yeah, right. good gig. Go. Getting again a check, not getting and hurt. they're yeah. and they're being gluten free. That's right. <laughs> and I do like the thing. I do like the, the, the subtext now to their whole character. They've kind of like rewritten their characters now where, you know, they're not really these crazy, insane, like, guys. They're just kind of like, you know, soft hearted, gluten free fellas, but they're just, they're playing the part, you know, just to get on TV. Like they're, the, like they're dressing up as like the rocker goth guys that just want to be your friend and yeah. want to They're hipsters. It. They're not cosplay. really those guys. Ooh, yeah, yeah. They're <laughs> just doing it because they have to. Hipsters <laughs> that cosplay, says Mad Mike. Nice. So. Yeah. Who, who they're hipsters to cosplay. Like they're next? having, they're having gluten free buns. They're yeah. dressing like Jack Skellington. Like it's, it's all rich tapestry. There you go. <laughs> did, I, did you answer? I just remember Zach Ryder. Yeah, he, he carried the Zach Ryder okay. conversation. Yeah, yeah, and I said the fashion police. Fashion police. That's right. Yeah, okay. I, I kind of have an answer now. Okay. I kind of sorted Good. everything out. This is gonna Good. seem really obvious, but. Um, given where he is right now, kind of where everybody wants him to be, I think Cesaro is kind of an obvious uh, mm-hmm. choice here. 
He walks away from WWE, goes over to New Japan, does six oh, stars with geez. Okada and the rest of the gang for a little while. He'll, he'd come back a main eventer. Yeah. Cesaro I mean, would swing Kenny Omega into the third row in the in the Tokyo Dome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, his upside is like in ring at least. It's just like so high. And he can have a tag team with anybody. Yeah. yeah. Anybody. The, the cleaner yeah, versus true. Swift Cyborg. Yeah. So, yeah. I forget, Hentai, did you wrestle Kings of Wrestling? I remember there was a, a, a Founding Fathers versus them at a Super Indie. Yeah, I did. Years I, ago. I have wrestled Hero and I wrestled uh, Cesaro separately. separately. Singles. Okay. Yeah, but not, not as the Kings of Wrestling. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Because, um, you know, back when back when Cesaro had hair, probably, right? Yeah. Yeah. He had a ponytail. <laughs> he had a ponytail. Yeah, he was hair. coming out in a suit every time. <laughs> I was like, who is this guy? All right. Cesaro. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do some. Some clean up here from the from the chat room. All right, uh, we've got Alex Miller saying Cedric. Mm -hmm. Nice Cedric Alexander. Yeah, yeah yep. I mean it was a, it was a nice bump for him. He was kind of just other random guy in Ring of Honor doing great stuff. But uh, yeah, Brandon says either Sami Zayn or Corbin. Which Corbin, I definitely agree with. I don't know what they're doing with him these days. I don't know if Corbin would survive on the. I, you know what scares me about any of those I... guys like Corbin and Ziggler falls in this category too. The guys who've never been out, who who kind of started in the WWE system. Did Dolph? Yeah. I thought he was an indie guy first. I mean, he brought him out of like the, the, the wrestling, uh, the Kent State wrestling school. And like, that was it. Oh, I mean, really? I don't think he okay. did any indies. I mean, but, 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 but Dolph, check my math on that I one mean, if you want to. Dolph frequents AIW. Dolph is familiar, I feel. And I think he would know what to do with that. Could you imagine if Dolph Ziggler, who already is buddies with them, just goes and hangs out at AIW every month and does whatever the fuck he wants to. Could you imagine? I see. I can't imagine. I mean, I can't imagine him out. Oh, I don't know what the hell that's going to look like. like what but... the hell that would do? Like, I've no. I'm trying to like, like, what would he? I don't know. What can I say? Anyway, anyway. Right. But I, I apply that to Corbin as being. I All just right. don't know how he would handle that. Um, mm -hmm. Brian says Cassius Ono and Hideo would have been better off without WWE. Hmm. Mm. Yep. That's well, Hideo, I mean, Hideo would have been fine if he didn't kept getting injured all the time. It didn't yeah, help. It didn't help. Did but well, I don't want to blame it on, on WWE at that point. I mean, it was just kind of circumstance. Well, yeah, no, he kept getting injured. And by the time he was healthy again, they had a better Hideo Itami and Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh, we've, we've also got a mention for Apollo. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And Dave he, Podner also mentions in here don't mention Bailey. My heart can't take it. Okay. Oh, I won't. Oh, baby. Did anyone mention the entire 205 roster? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Um, the only other comment I'm seeing in here is Chris Harmon says Bray Wyatt could shine anywhere as well. I would. I still, God willing, if there's a Lucha Underground season four, mm -hmm. I want Bray Wyatt in Lucha Underground mm -hmm. so badly I can taste it. You mean, I you, think... you mean Dario uh, willing? Dario, El Jefe willing. I'm Bray Wyatt in Lucha. Like, I just want a talent swap. Well, I speaking... want Bray Wyatt for Cage. That's the swap. Ooh. That's what I want. Oh. <laughs> Could you imagine Braun and Cage? Yes! Yes, I can, Sorg! And I fucking need it! <laughs> so, funny, funny that you're mentioning this, Mad Mike, because aren't you talking to them? Coming up here soon? Yeah! Awesome. Yeah, on Thursday. On Thursday? On Thursday. Holy crap. Yeah, for the midweek one. So, yeah, I yeah. guess we're going to be doing that. Yeah, we'll be live on Facebook uh, live for that. We'll have uh, Krista Joseph, former WWE writer, current co-executive producer for Lucha Underground on. And this is the last episode of season three. Uh, it's going to be a two-hour Ultimate Lucha oh, that I need God. to figure out when the hell I'm watching that before the show. Oh, my God. Yeah, so yeah, I don't think Mad Mike's body is ready for this. <laughs> no, I've decided what I'm going to do because I have the other three episodes of Lucha Underground of Ultimate Lucha 3 saved on my DVR. I'm going to binge the whole fucking thing. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Jeez. That's what's going to happen. All right. That you're is ready to watch five happen. hours. That includes about like uh, four hours of blood. Because <laughs> yes. that's what you're ready for. Yes, Sorg. I am, Sorg. Sorg. Yes. yes. Your what answer to you the big question. I learned that uh, uh, Matt Carlin's uh, got some 2K18. That's true. Um, 
I got my hands on the deluxe edition. And uh, oh jeez, I, I I have um two I have two K uh, seventeen also. So it, I mean, it's got some some different quirks on it, but I mean, it's a wrestling game, so obviously it's fun. Yeah, I'm no expert. I'm not the Riz. Um, <laughs> Your wife is correcting you that Mason got two K eighteen. I said I got my hands on it. I didn't say it was mine. It's my son's. <laughs> <laughs> he had a very fortuitously timed birthday and generous grandparents, so now I get to play the game. But <laughs> as a man. <laughs> That works out well. Lying. That works well. That's good. Circumstances That's in your favor. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I'm trying to kind of form my thoughts. It, it, what can I say? I mean, it's a wrestling game. It's fun. Um, there's a couple differences from uh, last year's edition. They've got this like carry, like grab them and like drag them around function. You know, you more like pick up the guy and you actually like when you like body slam them, you actually hold them up there and like kind of carry them around a little bit and put them where you want. Okay. And this okay. is uh, not, not so, something that so was... So brawn mode. Brawn mode, basically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, it, it takes some getting used to, um, but it's a pretty like, like, like the computer will use it on you all the time. So it's obviously an important mechanic for the game. And it's, I'm still getting used to it um, myself. Um, the creator wrestler is kind of fun. I mean, I kind of ended up, I don't know. I, I kind of got a tweak. My guy he ended up kind of turning out like a barrel chested TJ Perkins. It's kind of weird. I got to <laughs> kind of tweak him a little bit pale anyway. Um, but um, yeah, no, no, um, the, the story mode's kind of interesting. Cause um, when you're in the career mode, <laughs> you're looking at a video that is not 2k team. Okay. No, yeah, I'm correct. doing research for the next thing I was going to bring up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Don't worry um, about anyway, it. it's like Don't when, when, this, when, there, when you're there, in the there's game, 2K18. <laughs> look at that! Look at look those, look those graphics. amazing graphics. Yes, <laughs> was that an explosion? <laughs> what the hell? Sorry, I'm, I'm pulling up the fire, the Fire Pro Wrestling World, which is on Steam right now, and if you, it, it's it's a very 16-bit uh, level game, <laughs> and because yeah. that was in here, then it was brought up this weekend. It's something I've known has been on the horizon, but also like with the editor mode like it's got like i think you may have seen like a couple of your japanese guys in there that mm-hmm. you watch right and uh and and, <laughs> <laughs> and uh it, it, it's it, it's it's you know, everybody's making creative wrestlers for because of Steam Workshop. So yeah. it's basically um, you know, everybody you can think of is in there and probably a bunch of indie guys that anybody wanted to make as well. So which is kind of happening a 2K18. I love that somebody made an IWC in arena that was that was a gymnasium. Yeah, well, like they they've had to create an arena at least last year, maybe in years past, and um, now they've got like a little bit more backgrounds, and now they literally have a gymnasium as like one of the templates, and you can basically build your 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 dirt, you know, cheap your local indie show. show. Your West New West Newton gymnasium. Well, if yeah. you want to have a nice one, then you build your West Newton gymnasium. You know, <laughs> make it look real classy and everything uh, with your black curtain, one sheet, you, come out the, you know, you know, ceiling okay, lights, that's it, you know, right. like hardwood can floor. You, can you change the colors of the lights so one's like has a green tint to it? Yeah, that yeah, fucks oh, up that's, your been video? That, that's been part of okay. it forever. Oh, good. Um, I'm still trying to figure out how to like remove the floor mats from the floor in the editor. <laughs> that's kind of tricky. Well, that that depends on what state you said in mass. Some, some states have those regulations where you got to have. Oh, man, I hate those regulations. You get, have super hentai making lewd gestures to the crowd. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that's what you need. That's what you need. <laughs> Jeez, I, I'm sorry. Side note, I can't remember if it was your match or something else, but somebody did something to somebody's husband, and like the lady went after. I don't know if it was after Dino or somebody, and like, like, and did the whole like old lady. Mm, like finger yeah. all <laughs> the energy behind the middle <laughs> finger this happened like right in front of me is in the second half i remember and i'm just like what the hell just happened you know i, I had i had an eight-year-old <laughs> <laughs> tell me to tell me to suck their uh <laughs> so that wasn't me that was i can't remember who that was either dino or i don't know if that was marshall yeah i had a kid tell me to suck them <laughs> <laughs> Only they told me what to suck. Yeah, yeah it was, <laughs> that was my first show out, and I'm, you know, I try not to swear, even as a bad guy. I try not to swear out there because there's kids, and I'm like, okay, let me just let me get a gauge for this crowd because the promoter, Doctor Feel Bad, yeah, 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 yeah. he said, oh, you can do whatever you want, you say whatever you want, <laughs> and you know, you hear promoters say that, and they don't mean it. No, he actually meant it because I had that eight year old tell me to suck her privates. 
to suck their dick, okay? They <laughs> told me to suck their dick. No! They told me to suck oh! their dick. And I had that reaction that all you have. That's what I had. And I said, oh, well, it's go time. That's it. But I didn't make the comment to the kids, to the kid themselves. I made it to their parent. That's who I, I made <laughs> good, the reaction good, of good, good. what they could suck. Because you have standards. The, yeah. Because, I mean, you know, you're under 18. That's, that's still screwed up. You don't, was, you don't uh, make the reactions. Denny. That. Gregory uh, was uh, was at PWX one time when Chachi and I were uh, hanging out, and uh, like there was like a row of kids that were just like I forget what they're chanting, not the F word, but definitely something lewd. Yeah, and like and he's like you know he's not the good guy, right? But right. he's still like that's messed up that these kids are saying yeah. this. Oh yeah, you know? like a little kid in the you hearing this little kid in the corner be like, "Yes, suck Dennis Gregory." Or was like, like yeah, that. yeah, but no, it was like they were getting yeah. pretty, like, so, like you know, yeah, that was a very tame version of it. But yeah, like, the yeah. high pitched voice is like that <laughs> makes it even more creepy. This is a row of kids it. with their parents. It's like what you know. You hear it's that Saturday night at the show? Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say you hear that. That reminds you where you're working, where where you're wrestling, where the yeah, event yeah, yeah, is yeah. held. That like, when you, you hear that, you take the temperature of the crowd at that point. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> this is the line. <laughs> Here exactly. we go. <laughs> So you're gonna get the, so you need that in the sh- in the in the IWC arena or the RW arena, Matt Carlin's when you're uh, customizing. I'll get to work on that. Okay, <laughs> but you're you're right. I I should try. I should get to work immediately on the RWA arena. Yeah, with the Mayhem I Show arena because you can like you can in, you and, can import your images so I could get an RWA logo. I can mm-hmm. put up there. They could look real nice. Um, yeah, to figure out how to get Hot Wheels up there in the corner yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, there you, know? you go. Uh, a little you prop, you know. Because even even like when I looked at it, like they had the little logo in the corner, like we put in the videos for IWC. Like they had the logos on on a lot of the banners and things like that, and they had like Johnny Gargano versus Adam Cole, yeah. which is two guys which were in <laughs> IWC. You know, you just need a Logan Shulo, but you need to redesign Logan Shulo to Heavy Metal Jesus. Yeah, and you're all set. That's it. Uh, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt, um. Also, I'm not probably going to be getting the game until Christmas. Mm. Um, by that time, can you have a uh, Lucha Underground temple made for me? Please? Oh, good question. Oh, if he doesn't, somebody else will. Yes. Temple I think is, and yes. RWA Arena in West Luton. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I got to figure out how to remove the mats. I can't get the floor mats out of there yet. I, how I was the, asking someone how on Twitter. How they had? And you've not been able to remove the floor mats and do a pile driver on the concrete. There's got to be something. How has that not been one of those OMG moves? Don't try us at home. No, Sorg, you haven't seen some of those moves they do in the game. They don't care about the don't try us at home. Actually, this this is funny, too. They let you like tables on fire still. Usually at the beginning of the, at least at the beginning of 2K17, at the very first thing you see is don't try this at home, just like you see at the beginning of like the... The DVDs, and yeah, yeah. Like, well, I like they've I, got, they've I, gone to the next level. Yeah, don't try this at home, school, or anywhere. And I'm like, <laughs> and so I'm, I'm playing with my my eight year old son. I'm like, oh, Mason, oh, bad news, buddy, can't do it at school anymore either. <laughs> Sorry, kid. Well, He's funny. like, oh, hey, hold, hold on, hold on. In high school, no joke. There was a group of guys that had a wrestling fed that would go on. During their off classes, yes, during uh, their during, off periods, during during fourth or fifth grade in the in the playground, like we would go to the far end of the playground, and they were like these little kind of bars, like I don't know, like I don't know, walker bars, like exercise bars? bars, or no, 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 they're just like two bars that you could like kind of hold yourself up on, and those were the tag ropes. And we <laughs> also we had no idea about the status of pro wrestling, so we kind of didn't pull punches a little bit. It kind of yeah. turned into four, fourth grade fight club a little bit. So uh, we had people buy some each other onto their cars. That's this happened even, is like, this I, happens I was at say, every I was saying in the senior lounge eating lunch. I was looking outside because you hear commotion, and I'm like. Fuck is happening at up? Uh, oh, yep, that's a rock bottom onto the hood of a car. Oh, that okay. that happened at a twisted CD release party once in Manaka with uh, our friends. One of them actually did become a pro wrestler for, but both of them friends of John McChesney. Uh, a little, anyways. <laughs> what did you learn in wrestling this week, Matt Carlins? I learned from watching an episode of Being the Elite <laughs> that Wade Barrett is Marty Skrull's dad. What? I saw it, oh and the young bucks wouldn't <laughs> lie to me, so it has to be true. <laughs> That's amazing. It blew my mind. Wow. That is all. 
I got some bad news. He, show, he comes rolling. Marty Scroll walks in. He goes, hey, guys, get what? I found my dad. I found my dad. And he walks away. Hey, there, son. How are you? I was like, oh, my God. So, you so wait, wait. One. How have they not grabbed Maury Povich and said, well, Marty, we found your father, but I'm afraid I have some bad news. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I might get a cease and desist for that. Yeah, you might. You, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you might for that one too. Um, Hashtag cease and desist. <laughs> Mad Mike, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Oh God, you know what I learned, Sorg? It's actually something I relearned. Um, I learned that Big Van Vader was a part of the Boy Meets World in canon storyline. Yeah, he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. I relearned that because. <laughs> Because uh, my girlfriend is at home. She was watching Boy Meets World. And she's like, oh, yeah, this, this is this really funny one where um, Corey's trying out for the wrestling team. And all of a sudden, my brain just clicked in. I'm like, is that the one with fucking Vader? And I threw up <laughs> the, the actual Vader sign emoji <laughs> on the text. And she's like, no, I don't know what you're talking about. And she's like, wait, is that the guy? I'm like, yes, that's fucking Vader. It's time. It's Vader time. Um, I'm related. I'm now single. <laughs> <laughs> sorry mike <laughs> kidding 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 she oh no left. Yeah, oh no. geez super hentai <laughs> what did you learn from wrestling I, we'll just say lately uh, well uh, you know what i learned that you adopt my vulgarities when i'm in studio oh you don't listen to the show i not all the time <laughs> 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 not all the time no you swear that much on this show this is this is the outlet show this is the show where everything that I do all the week with corporate clients and in the community, and this is always going to be the show where I can say fuck. It, it, <gasps> it's it's not called the wrestling cordial conversation show. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Years ago when I was on this show, he did not swear this much. That's why I'm not used to hearing it's, this. It's our fault. Yeah. Listen, there's a lot of angst when you it's, own your own business. It's the whiskey. <laughs> it's the whiskey. There's a lot of things where you just got to let it out. It used to be you were on in between when I left my day job, which which was the thing I was vending at the time. And doing stuff on my own, but had not really fully formed a business with an INC or an LLC at the end. Right. Now, I got to say fuck sometimes, okay? <laughs> well, you can say it in front of me any day. There you later. go. There you go. <laughs> so, and when I see you at a wrestling show, I'm on the job. Oh, shit. You're getting, you're right. getting business sword. That's it. You're yeah. Getting, you're getting, well, you're getting more business casual sword, but still. But you still don't. You keep that swearing to a minimum. Yeah. At a wrestling show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you don't hear me behind the camera. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Back when we switched motherfuckers, where are they going? What the Why is fuck? there Chachi, where no! is this fucking green light coming from? <laughs> yeah. yeah, seriously. Oh, no. Or when I edit the shows. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> God bless J Rock. He He's make like a... Jason Mewes at the end of Dogma. He's like, "What the fuck happened to that guy's head?" <laughs> uh, you should make it the hidden egg at the end of the DVD. Is my reaction? Yeah, to the you show. Editing, I just edited, just editing the show. Oh yeah, no, there was there was one a couple Sorry. months ago where I had to walk away because I got so pissed at the match in front of me. Yeah, Sorg, you could do that and put it on at the end like a Lucha Underground stinger. <laughs> And it happens in both. I want to be fair. It, it does happen in both promotions. I just like I edited a match, and I'm just like mad, I'm mad at something that happened in the ring, in shots, in something going on. It just happens. It just, yeah. Uh, anyways, super hentai. Yes, dear. <laughs> 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 Thank you for joining us. Thanks for uh, having me. Can you tell us when, where you, we can find you online uh, and uh, where we can find some fine, fine merchandise? I don't, this is the first time I think I remember you having merchandise Yeah, in, you, in the 10 plus years I've known you. <laughs> yeah, this is the yeah, this will be the first time. Well, yeah, in that time. Because I had shirts made like way back in the day. Yeah, okay. years ago, years ago. Uh, let me see. Online, you can find me on Instagram at masked underscore aggression. Uh, Facebook, <laughs> Facebook doesn't like the term super hentai, so <laughs> I had to use, what? yeah, what yeah. that so, could be nothing else. I, uh, <laughs> no, 
<laughs> so I had to change it to Chrome, uh, C R O M Gordon, as in Flash Gordon. That's my Facebook, uh, my Facebook account, not page. <laughs> I love Facebook Matt's reaction account. to that one. <laughs> you um, all right over there? <laughs> <laughs> we lost him on that. <laughs> I always wondered. Oh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, and on uh, Twitter, I'm somewhere out there at Super Hentai Two. Uh, that son of a bitch. That got someone took him. Yeah. Some fucker took Super Hentai. <laughs> I will get heated Super about Hentai that. Super Hentai won. Yeah, I should. Yeah, I should. There's two guys out there. <laughs> I'll talk about late to the party. I just don't use that thing. It's total horseshit. Here I come. Now I'm coming out right now. Here Doesn't comes the talk for your interview next. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you can find me there. Find me there. <laughs> Watch the age comments. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm backtracking. There was apparently age thing kind of blew up the chat room a little bit. By the way, Jared Garrett, Jake Garrett, less than 45. So, <laughs> um, anyways. so he can appear on Monday Night Raw. Good, good, good. He's yes, yes absolutely. Um, uh, go check it out. And we're going to, of course, do an interview if you're here on the stream. Stick around for that. But uh, check on the feed for Indie Mayhem Show. A lot of great stuff coming up, including the eventual interview here with Super Hentai. Hopefully, uh, in, uh, YouTube still lets us. Oh wait, I want to have to post this with Super Hentai in the title. I wonder what's going to happen to All the videos. Oh, Sorg, Sorg, we are going to get huge numbers in Japan. <laughs> huge numbers in Japan. <laughs> Maybe that's why I get all those Japanese. Like I get, I seriously get orders on IndieWrestling.us, uh, uh, and and the names are in Japanese. Oh, so really? Just, I, that's just you, also, buddy. Mosaic that's my crotch. What? <laughs> like Wait, the, what? Like the Japanese Pixelated, porn. Yeah. Pixelated. <laughs> just do that, my crotch. That's what you need to do. What is yep. this DVD? I don't care. It says hentai. We got to have it. Yeah. Come on. Sorg. F it. Yes. Let me just tell Sorg. you that I was looking for an image to put in because I'm, I'm in Photoshop. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I put in the words super hentai. Oh, no. Don't do that. <laughs> the first. The first. He is the... He is he is the one wrestler you don't want to try to Google image search. The first also, three images were super hentai. The rest of the images not were super, super hentai. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just like really like merch idea? Just like find some random like it's Japanese, so nobody's coming after you for this. Just grab some en- hentai pick, blur out the naughty bits, and put a hent- super hentai mask on it. And then there's your, there's your, I, I think people I think would just, better get better. You should just come out with a ring robe that has tentacles. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm throwing it listen, out there. Listen, I'll, I'll take it under consideration. There's, I mean, what else can go wrong here? The hell with it. Uh, Might as well. Considered right, right. Adopting the octopus stretch as a finish. It. <laughs> it's funny you said that. I used to do that during the attitude era. <laughs> 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 Isn't that Jonathan Gresham's finisher? Yeah, now? yeah, it is. <laughs> Everybody's gonna think you're stealing it from him now. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. copycat artist. What a ripoff. It's your own shit. Or at least call something like the Cthulhu Karana or something like that. Like, Ooh. <laughs> like there's got to be something you can throw in. There you go. I like this. Mad like Mike. This. Mad Mike. Four eight eight three on the Twitters. Midweek yeah. war, big one this Thursday night, ten p.m. Oh man, there's gonna be so much lucha this week. It's gonna um, be great and sad. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm gonna bleed. Maybe I don't know. There's a lot of blood. He's gonna he's gonna cry, bleed, and throw up at the same time. Yes, yeah, absolutely. That's and and maybe not even from the right orifices. I don't know. Lucha does weird things to people, Sorg. <laughs> apparently, apparently. Um, and of course, the mainstream Matt on the Twitter one T. Oh. You okay over there? Hey, we had some. This was this was fun. <laughs> <laughs> One team. I love. I, I love. I love like, we didn't get Chad and Larry tonight, but man, are they gonna miss out on this one? <laughs> I don't know. If, I don't know if Chad and Larry would have made it through this one. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chad would have. He's seen some shit. Larry, on the other hand, I don't Larry. Know. Larry's kind of a newbie to this kind of stuff, <laughs> so he's only heard the super hentai stories. <laughs> <laughs> I want, I want, I want Larry on next time we have Jimmy, Jimmy DeMarco in here. Oh, oh God. God! Oh sweet! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Speaking of, can you make an IWC arena with dildos <laughs> thrown into the match at random? 
At least around the ringside. I, I, you or know at, what? Least, at least put up the Bailey, ar- the Bailey arm so it looks like this. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez. You know, first we're going to figure out how to get the mats off the floor. <laughs> and then we're going to get to the dildos. Wouldn't that be amazing that, if you that, got the dildos that. on the floor and the mats are still on? I know. You still can't you got to have off. these mats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Matt, yeah just yeah. make the mats the same color as the floor. What, what if we have like a hardwood floor? Like I, I, I can't even do with this. I'll let you know if I figure it out. Okay. Follow me on Twitter at Mainstream Matt with one T. And partially related, is that the first time you've been in the ring when uh, tampons were thrown at you? That would be the first. Okay. I got hit right in the back of the head too. <laughs> lit up. That lit was up. Weird. <laughs> that was very that was odd. weird. Maybe we'll talk about that on the interview. <laughs> Thank you everybody for joining us. A great, fantastic chat room. You can join us every Tuesday night, 10 p.m. Eastern time, and check out all the other shows we got the raw wrap up after monday night raw on the facebook live as well as the midweek wars sometime on thursday this week definitely at 10 p.m thursday night with lucha underground at the very least and of course the indie mayhem show that uh publishes every thursday as well on all of your podcast outlets and also remember the wrestling mayhem show master feed super feed that's what we call it. Super feed, Super. where you can just get all things mayhem, and that is on your podcast receivers as well. And definitely get on that Facebook and Facebook group to, so you know and get notifications when we do go live so you can be part of the mayhem party. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. We'll see you next time. Mayhem Show out. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.